Hello, my name is David and today I will be talking to you about latency and how it affects online gaming. So what exactly is latency? Well latency or ping is the time it takes for packets of data to get from one destination to another. Latency can be classified as delay as it takes time for these packets of data to get from one destination to another. Latency can't be confused with FPS or frames per second because FPS is a problem with the computer itself. What kind of effect does latency have on online gaming? Well, latency can cause choppiness, jerky movements, can cause gameplay can to freeze, disconnection, or even rollbacks. If the latency is really high, it it causes it can cause some of these issues or all of its issues combined. What kind of games does latency have an impact on? Well, latency can affect first-person shooters or FPS, such as Call of Duty and Battlefield. It can have an impact on multiplayer online battle arenas or MOBAs, such as League of Legends and Dota 2. It can have an effect on real-time strategies or RTSs, such as StarCraft 2 and Total War or even massively multiplayer online or MMOs such as World of Warcraft and RuneScape. But latency affects these differently. When you're playing an FPS such as Call of Duty, you want to have a really low ping because it will reduce these ch chances of having these effects. And you don't want to have these effects because it will, it will really worsen your gameplay and you don't want that. You want to have nice crisp clear gameplay otherwise you you won't be able to get the kills you need to win the game otherwise if you're playing world of warcraft you're more than likely walking in a straight line or questing or doing something like that so if you have choppiness or jerky movements it doesn't really affect your gameplay that much because you're not going out to get kills or you're not trying to take over an enemy's base such as like you do in StarCraft 2. So it doesn't it doesn't have the same effect as it would in other games. So latency affects different styles of games differently. All right, so in the next clip, I'll be showing you some gameplay of Call of Duty Black Ops 3 and I'll be showing you how it looks in with high ping versus low ping. You, you'll definitely see some difference in the gameplay. Uh, you'll see some choppiness, some freezing, maybe even disconnect if I get lucky. So, I'll see you guys then. Alright, so this is the, the low ping clip. Um, I'm running about 60-ish 60, 60 ping. So, it's not the worst, but it's not the greatest. As you can see, other people are about 120-ish, which is pretty bad. So, um... It's pretty smooth. I mean, the running is fairly smooth. You can jump around. This is Call of Duty Black Ops 3. Uh, it's, fa it's fairly smooth. Um, in the top right corner, I'm running at about 120 FPS. So that's how you can tell it's not my computer if there were any problems. So it's fairly good overall. Next, we're going to move on to the high ping clip. As we can see here, the ping for these servers range from 176 to 945 versus the other clip where it's just about 60. So this is crazy, it's crazy high. So if we try to join one, we we might be able to get in. And if we do get in, we, we will experience some choppiness. Our characters might freeze. Uh, we could get disconnected from the server. There could be a whole bunch of different things. So we actually got into the lobby, so that's good. So we could hop in the game and see what happens. Alright, so automatically you see all this, this choppiness. Like, there are these characters these other players are just hopping around the screen my character is fine but the other characters are just hopping around the screen 
it's just it's because the ping is so high like mine it's jumped around from 100 200 all the way up to 300 which is horrible so this is this just shows the difference between a really low ping versus a really high ping 